Hello everyone, Gumball here, and welcome back to the Hermit Pack for Minecraft 1.10, because I wouldn't say that every time, I don't know why. Uh, but, today I want to get a few more things done with the Actually Editions mod, as I said last episode, and I've got a list kind of written down here on my table, because I couldn't be bothered to look for paper. Uh, not a recommended idea, it's kind of hard to clean off. But anyway, uh, there's a few things I want to do, mostly to do with... A lot of random things actually, but first off I want to look at stuff to do with power and uh, then some kind of secondary items that aren't really important to the core of the mod, if that, uh, if that makes any sense. So, what I want to work towards today is the powered furnace, uh, which is really cheap. Um, however, it will need RF, and I don't want to have everything in this kind of square around here. Uh, I kind of actually want to have furnaces over here, and I'm going to take this one out, and take this one out, because we'll probably replace it up here later. But to get the power from this coal generator up here is something we're going to have to figure out. So, we can do this with relays. Uh, really? Relay. There we go, energy laser relays. So these are a form of wireless power transfer, which is pretty cool, um, and they can be connected together with a laser wrench, generating a network. Uh, when placing uh, one next to the relay, it can receive power from any other relay in the network. The system always works in both directions simultaneously. They can be at most 15 blocks apart. During an energy transfer, they have a light energy loss, but nothing to worry about. Uh, and there's three tiers, and you can connect the different ones but they have like power caps and stuff. So to make a basic energy laser relay we're going to need four obsidian, a load of redstone, and an advanced coil. How much redstone do we have? Not enough. We're gonna need 20 at least. Uh, oh we have the redstone here crystals for it actually so we do eight, uh, 14 plus 8 is enough. Uh, obsidian though I don't have, so I'm going to go quickly look for some obsidian and some a bit more redstone. Uh, we have gold, we have need of more redstone actually, about two more at least, and black quartz, and the furnace itself is going to take some coils as well, so redstone it is. We're going to need redstone, uh, probably some coal, and some obsidian, so I'll be right back. Okay, and a little while later, and we should have everything we need now to, let's see, let's put this stuff away. Uh, yep, that's everything. Should have everything we need now to work towards making this thing. And it's annoying not being able to press the R key to sort your inventory, having to press middle click. I don't know why they changed that. Okay, so what are we making? We were making, or at least working on the relay. That's what it was. So let's see, energy laser relays. Uh, and they have some achievements actually. Craft, crafting the relays will give us an achievement. Have we unlocked that one, or is that yeah? Crafting the relays. Okay. So <coughs> for the relay, we're going to need. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we're going to need one advanced coil, two blocks of redstone, some redstone and crystals. So let's make a couple blocks of redstone. Uh, and I'm actually going to make myself the Tinker's Construct crafting station. Uh, whether or not I look at uh, Tinker's Construct. Later on, I don't, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. <coughs> it's a bit buggy there. Um, and we have a couple of redstonia crystals. Then we're going to need one, two, three, four for the quartz, uh, for the coil. So let's make us one of those. Let's see, do that. There we go. Basic coil. And I'm pretty sure we needed an advanced one, actually. Is there anything? Oh, we need uh, gold nuggets. That's what it is. So we can make ourselves an advanced coil. That should be everything we need. A couple redstonia crystals, a couple blocks, and four obsidian. Gets us a couple energy laser relays. So there's our achievement. Now, I don't know if these can be blocked by blocks or not. So we're going to stick our relay there. And there's no interface or anything, interesting. And we're going to stick one around the back here. So this is where we're going to have our powered furnace. So we'll have the energy relay back here. And there's probably some sort of power... I know you can use power cubes in this mod, so we can probably use those to power a load of blocks at once somehow. Um, I don't know how they do non-wireless uh, transfer in this. 
uh, but we'll have this up here in a minute. The only thing we need now is our powered furnace. Okay, so for the powered furnace, two Inori crystals, some cobblestone, an iron casing, and a basic coil. Uh, okay, so we're going to need, we're going to make an Inori block because we're going to need more crystals, I am sure. So let's make an iron block. Stick it down at the end of this laser. And boom. There we go, an Anori block. That should get us our Anori crystals. Uh, two furnaces. Those coils are going to need a couple uh, of these. We're going to need one, two, three, because we're going to need another one. For the main thing, we're going to need four iron. And we're going to need four sticks. Do we have any? We do have wood. Good. There we go. Uh, make these into black quartz. And we're going to need some redstonia crystals. So let's make a redstonia block as well. Uh, we could have done this at the same time as we did the Anori, I'm sure. So let's see. Redstonia block. There we are. Should make our basic coils. There we go. And we're going to need one of these with the four sticks and the four iron, which I believe might have been the other way around. Yes. For an iron casing, that makes the most sense being in the corners. So we need casing, you, 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 and you. He's the other way around. Yeah, there we go, powered furnace. There we go. So this should be able to uh, uh, chomp through two things at the same time. Yep. And it will also be powered, so we won't need coal for it. Uh, well, we will need coal, coal for it, but we won't need coal for it, if that makes any sense. The only thing we need now is the wrench. Uh, which, yeah, the laser wrench. So this is going to take two Anori crystals and an advanced coil, which means we need a piece of coal uh, to make another one of these, and another Anori crystal block, it, is, uh, it appears. Okay. You can do that. Boom. There we go. Uh, that's not an Ori. I meant Redstonia, though. I did mean Redstonia. That's good. <laughs> okay. So we can make black quartz. Make another one of these. We're going to need some gold nuggets. So let's grab a gold ingot. Do we not have a gold ingot? No, we don't. Luckily, we have both gold ore and gold dust. So gold dust, <coughs> we're just going to temporarily stick in the furnace with a mini coal. We're only going to need the one. That's fine. And these are going to stick in the crusher. Something's something was already using power. Not this. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way we can wirelessly transfer the items as well. There are item relays, uh, but we'll look at that in a minute. Don't don't get distracted, Gumball. Um, what do we need? We need that gold dust, gold nuggets. We should have everything we need for the coil. And we have two Anori crystals on us. There's the laser wrench. Let us... Uh, how do we link it? Laser stored. Laser connected. And we have power in here. So we should be able to do that. There we go. And that's smelting them both at the same time. So we can do double the things and separate ores at the same time, which is pretty cool. So this is chomping away. We can let that go. take out some gold dust, stick that in here, and then we can stick in the iron and smelt that on this side, unless this is going to be really quick. Uh, the only thing now is that this isn't making enough power. This is generating about 30 a tick. Uh, this is using about 20 each, so we're a bit, we're about 10 under, I think, which is a bit of an issue. I wonder if it uses more power to do double. It does. Okay, yeah, okay, we'll just do the one for now then. Okay, that works. So the other thing we can do now is set up that energy relay, uh, but we're going to need more power, uh, and I'm not sure how I want to do that. Do I have something written down for power here? No, no I don't. Of course I don't. Why would I have done that? Why would I have been smart enough to have done that? Um. 
Okay, we're gonna remain low on power for a bit. That's that's fine. Not a problem. We're gonna keep our laser wrench on us. I think that that makes sense. Uh, this will all smelt away. This has got the only problem I have is it's a bit loud. Oops. Um, and we're out of coal. That's another problem. So let's give it a handful. Let's give it some blocks and uh, maybe it goes through them faster, slower. We'll see. Maybe they make more power somehow. Don't know how the mod goes about doing it. These are all going to run out of power soon. Not a problem. And we have gold. Okay. So the other things I want to do um, are all minor things, some of which we're not got enough time to do today, actually. But uh, let's see. We have a fishing net because we want to get some food. So let's see. There's also an automatic fishing net from Cyclic, which is kind of interesting. This one's an, uh, an emerald. This one's an emerald. It wants an emerald. And it wants it to be empowered too. Why is a fishing net a fishing net? A very simple fishing net expensive. To me, that doesn't make sense. Maybe they just think you should be fishing yourself. Uh, the other thing, they have greenhouse glass, which we cannot make. <sighs> okay, generation of RF. We're probably going to go with lava then. Leaf eating generator would be kind of cool. Bioreactor uses food. Interesting. Looks like we're either going to need more coal generators, or we're going to go for the really exp kind of expensive route of um, that'll fill up of what do you call it? Uh, many solar panels. Are they expensive? Let's see. They need the empower as well. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need more coal generators, or we'll be looking to another mod for power. Um, I know we can set up a pretty cool lava system, uh, lava power generation network, so we'll probably do that next episode using ender tanks and uh, the lava sources available in the nether. Uh, the pack has a pump. Let's see if this can be blocked by blocks. That's something that we never checked. Uh, we'll fill that one in for now. Yes! It doesn't mind there being blocks in the way. I wonder if that increases the energy loss, though. Hmm. I don't know, but I think that... Will that be it for today? Energy relays and the powered furnace? It doesn't feel like a lot to me. Is there anything I can get done? There is one thing I want to make. I want to make the traveler's sack, which is going to require couple rotten flesh. Let's see if we can find any zombies nearby. And you may have noticed my lack of food. Um, the way we're going to sort that is just by uh, probably killing ourselves to start with until we can get a proper uh, source of food going. Um, but the problem with that is we're going to need uh, an experience solidifier first. Uh, let's see, can I make one of those today? Experience solidifier. No. Well then. Oh, and Britannia's in. Uh, well, things just get... Oh, there's one thing I want. One thing that's very important. The... Uh, what's it? The, the one probe? Yes. We're going to make one of these in a second. We have the materials. We're going to make one of these. Uh, but I'm going to try and look for some rotten flesh. Then we'll get the one probe, and I'll show you the amazingness that it does. Um, that really shouldn't need any crafting. And I'll be back, uh, and we'll finish off the episode there. If I can find some zombies. Cry out loud. That better not be a skeleton I just heard. So, after coming across like four skeletons and totally failing to find any zombies, so a lack of rotten flesh, um, I've decided let's just make the one probe and then we'll finish up there. So, um, I want to know what the player probe does actually. That takes it with, uh, with a skeleton skull. But the one probe. I believe has the same effect as the Whaler mod used to uh, have, where when you hover over a uh, block with your mouse, it will show up in the uh, the top of the screen. And I think the one probe does the top right of the screen. What you're looking at. Uh, hopefully, I'm correct. So we're gonna need a piece of quartz. Oops, not a flint. A cord oh, we have an emerald. Interesting. We can make the fishing net later. Um, but let's get the quartz and three stone. 
and three redstone torches for a comparator. This plus the redstone plus the gold nugget will give us the one probe. And just by having this in our inventory, no? Ah, okay, just by looking at stuff whilst holding the probe, we can see what it is. Now, I think there is um, a setting in the mod, uh, you can see it in the top left, uh, whether or not we can mine stuff and stuff there as well. I think there's a setting in the mod where you don't have to be holding it, or you can be, uh, you can just not have to craft it at all. I kind of like holding it though. I may leave it like that, I may change the config uh, for convenience sake. Um, it doesn't work in your hotbar, and it doesn't work, oh, does it work in my offhand? Ah, there we go, we'll have it in our offhand then. There's probably a way to hide our offhand, but we'll keep it like that, so we can always see what, whoops, what we're looking at. That's kind of handy. Uh, but we're going to finish up there for today, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Hermit Craft Mod Pack. Uh, Hermit Pack, even. For Minecraft 1.10.2. Uh, if you have, don't forget to leave a like, as many have that you may raise season more. Next episode, we might take more of a look at this mod, actually. I'm really enjoying looking at actually additions. It's kind of a breath of fresh air from all the other tech mods that are more streamlined towards specifically technology. So a grinder uh, for your ores, then a smelter for the ores, like that's we have done. Um, power generation, that we've also done. But then there's things like fishing nets and... Wireless power is kind of cool, you don't have to make tons of cables, stuff like that in this mod that just make things a bit nicer. Uh, greenhouse glass and stuff like that we'll also be taking a look at later. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you all again next time. Also, I've uploaded a Civilization 6 video that you should go check out um, if you're interested in that type of game. It's a cool city building strategy game. But yeah, go check that out, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye bye. Far too much talking, really, honestly. Far too much talking.